To update a Samsung Android device to One UI 2.0 or 2.1, you must check the update manually. For this, go to Settings, Software Update and tap on Download and Install. It will check and display any update for your Samsung device. If it doesn't, you can download and install the Samsung Smart Switch software on your Mac or Windows PC. Then connect your Samsung device using a USB cable and click on this arrow button. Check if it displays any update for your Samsung device. If it still says up to date, then there is no other way but to update the Samsung firmware manually that I am going to show you in this video. Now before proceeding with manual update process, I want to put a disclaimer and a warning. This process is safe and can be executed successfully by following the steps described in this guide. However, updating and flashing firmware can cause severe problems such as break the Android phone. So I suggest you to proceed with this guide at your own risk. I can't be held responsible for any issue whatsoever. Warning aside, this method is tried and tested by several users including me and it works for almost everyone except a few who own a carrier locked Samsung device. So let's get started and let's update the Samsung One UI firmware. First you need to find the model number of your Samsung device. For this go to settings about phone and there you will see the model number of your Samsung device. Note it and then go to sammobile.com. You have to register using your email ID and other details. Verify your account and then login. After login, click on firmware and then click browse firmware archive. This will take you to this page. Here enter the model number of your device. You can also enter the device name such as S10 or S20 and it will display all the models of that particular device. Select the one that matches yours. Now this will take you to the list of firmwares available for your Samsung Android device. Every country has a specific firmware so choose the firmware that belongs to your country and carrier. It's important that you select the right firmware. If your device is carrier locked and the firmware is not listed, you need to wait for it to arrive or you may get in touch with your carrier for more information on when they will release the update. Once you find the firmware, click on it and this will take you to the download page. Click wait and download and a pop-up will appear. You will have to wait for like 30 seconds and then download link will appear. Click download and it will start downloading the firmware. Now if you don't see this link or this pop-up, disable the ad blocker on your browser and then retry. Now the download speed will be slow and I highly recommend you to use a file downloader tool such as IDM or any free file downloading software so that you can download faster and resume the download if it breaks due to network issue. Otherwise you can also use the web browser download the simple download method but that will be really slow and annoying so if you can bear with that it's fine. Once the firmware is downloaded, you have to extract it to a folder. You can extract it anywhere but I suggest you to create a folder and then extract all files in that particular folder. Now download the Samsung USB drivers and install them after extracting. All the download links are given in the description. After installing the drivers, you have to restart the PC. Then download and extract the latest Audin tool. Again, the links are given in the description. Now you are almost ready to update your Samsung Galaxy device. There's one last thing that you have to do. Connect your Samsung device using the USB cable and backup all your data. You can use the free backup tool such as Samsung Smart Switch app, which is available for both Windows and Mac. It backups all your data, including your contacts, messages, and even the SD card data. Now this step is very very important as updating firmware may wipe your entire device internal storage based on the option you choose to update and backup is critical 
to avoid any data loss. So I highly recommend you to back up and uh, don't risk your data. Otherwise you may lose it. You never know. Now after backup, start Odin tool and make sure your Samsung Galaxy device S8, S9, S10, S20, Note 8, Note 9, Note 10 or any Samsung device that you're using for which you have downloaded the firmware is connected to the system. Now as Odin starts, you will see a message that says delete Google Samsung account from your Samsung device. So this is very important and to do so on your Samsung Galaxy device, go to settings, accounts and backup. Tap on accounts and then tap on Samsung account. Select personal info and then tap on these three dots. Select sign out. Now similarly, you have to remove the Google account from your device. Once done, go back to your PC and click OK. Now you have to restart your Android device in recovery mode. For this, turn off your Samsung Android device and then press volume up big speaky and the power button at once. Hold all three buttons until you see this screen. When this screen appears, use your volume down key and move the selection on bootloader option. Press power button and this will reboot your device into download mode. And now your device is ready to be flashed. You will see a COM signal right on your Odin tool. This means your device is recognized and added and it's ready to be flashed. Now all you have to do is choose firmware files that you extracted earlier. Now here's the thing. There are two ways to update firmware as I told you earlier on your Samsung Galaxy device. One will keep your data such as messages, contacts, photos, videos intact. It's more like an OTA update. However, the second way wipes the entire storage and does a clean install. Assuming you have the backup of your data, you can proceed and select the four files by clicking on the appropriate button. Just see this video and choose the right file as I am selecting. Now if you select home CSC, the data will not be deleted. But if you choose the other, data will be wiped and your device will have a clean installation. You may choose any based on your preference. However, please note that the first method will only work on Samsung devices which are one firmware level below than the latest release that you have just downloaded. If you are two or three levels down, do not follow that method and do a clean install by following the second way. So basically don't choose the home CSC file, instead choose the other one. Once you have selected all the respective files, click start to begin firmware flash. Again, proceed only if you have already back up your data. This will start uploading the firmware files to your Samsung device partitions and then your device will flash them internally. You'll have to wait. This will take a while and uh, your device will finally reboot. However, the first boot after the firmware flash will take more time. So be patient. Once done, set up your Samsung device if you have done a clean install, otherwise you can just start using your Samsung device. Check your data, if it's not there, restore the backup using the Samsung smart switch that you used to backup your Android device. And now you can start using the latest One UI update on your device. From now onwards, you will also start to receive all the updates as they arrive like everyone else. So. Be sure to like this video and subscribe for more videos on Samsung Galaxy devices. I will bring more videos on fixing various problems such as overheating, battery drainage in Samsung devices. So stay tuned guys and if you like this video, do hit that thumbs up. Also if you have any issue, let me know via comments down below. This was all for now. I'll see you in the next video.